Okay, here we are. This is uh, episode three of uh, Price of Vengeance, chapter two of the Thoradin Vengeance arc. And uh, we are in the middle of combat from last time. So the uh, let's do the recap. So last game, uh, the the players or the characters uh, managed to get into the city of Hill's Edge. And uh, after, actually, was it last time you guys? No, it was the time before you guys were outside the city. So the last time you started, uh, oh wait, was it last time you got in the city? No. So what we did uh, the last game was we were at the uh, the uh, guy's shop. Yes, but we started somewhere else. We started in. At the tavern. Oh yeah, you started we, at we, outside the city, yeah. I think, and then you. No, we were in the inn. We were in the inn inside the city. Oh right, we yeah, yeah. At the end of the of the previous the game, you'd gotten into we the city did. and gone straight to the hotel, and then you were still that same evening, went out to a tavern to see what uh, information you could gather, uh, instead of waiting for the next day. The other um, members of the of the support group that was there for you, the uh, from from the Grim Brand Empire was um, just gonna sleep and uh, start fresh the next day, so you guys decided to go out on your own and um, went to I can't remember the name of this tavern. Went to a tavern in the uh, I think that was the Rogue Guild part of town, and yes, then you yes. found a, a bunch of information about uh, what's going on in the city. Um, from a guy who is not happy with the current situation, and uh, then uh, Zero's character Zero went and talked to some unsavory types and found out they were going to do a job on a house in the merchant quarter. And you guys had also remembered that there was a a dwarf uh, merchant outside of the city who had asked you guys to um, do a job do a job in the merchant quarter to get into his house and get some stuff. So you guys decided to, you were thinking that those two were probably the same job. Um, and you went to uh, do the first, uh, go to the dwarf's house preemptively because he had told you where his shop was. So whereas the rogues had not told Zero where the shop that they were talking about was. So we still don't know for sure if that's the same place. This is a simple misunderstanding. Anyway, you decide to go there and uh, see if you could clear out what you guys needed for, for your um, previous job. And then see what would happen right. after. Right. So you guys were doing pretty well for quite a while. You snuck in, you put some people to sleep. Um, or knocked some people out and then put some people to sleep. But uh, the, Eilie. the guards were... Yeah, Eilie. Before uh, Priest even got to take control of him, uh, he managed to stumble into the room and knock over a pile of armor, which alerted the front door guards and the uh, the um, captain who has taken over the house. So he they all fought you guys. You get managed to knock them all out without killing anybody. So that Except was an no even Except him you even him you, even him oh, you really? managed to knock out. Did I, we finally yep. manage to knock him out? Yeah. Um, yes. Polyan was able to knock him out with a force damage. Uh, for, force damage, yeah. And he rolled the medicine check to make sure he did do it the oh, right that's lightness. Right. Okay. And so, and he, even uh, if even if he hadn't, he'd still have three death saves. We could have yeah, stabilized him pretty easily. Him anyway. So yeah, so really you guys got. Him. Yeah, you guys He's got part of the problem. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> he is kind of a jerk for taking over somebody's house that was ousted from the city by them. But. <laughs> But now we are on a time limit because he spent three rounds screaming for guards. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes so we got a three so rounds. You loot. tried to knock him out, and he is still screaming for guards. So yes. So we got to loot and go. I think the lucky thing is nobody likes him anyway. <laughs> um, Maybe. One new thing I have um, that I added to the fantasy grounds is under story. There are two um, items there. One is the Grimbrand support team, which uh, you will just have a description of the people and their names. So if you mm -hmm. need to look that up again, uh, they're there. 
and then um, there's uh, uh, the the um, dwarf who's outside the city. There's an article for him, uh, what he had left in stock after you guys shopped there, uh, in case you want to go back and get some of that stuff. Um, and but, yeah, and he still has a deal with you guys to come back and bring his stuff back, and he'll give you a reward. All right, so those two things are there. And then uh, I found a better um, map. For is this, this a home of your thing? Yeah, the gridded home is home of yours. Not is where we were using before. Oh, but I okay. Moved, so I moved you guys to to the blacksmithy uh, yeah, building, which is a two story one, which is more accurate to what it this building should be. Yeah, it's so, a lot smaller, but yeah. Yeah, so I just moved you guys in there and placed you roughly where you would be. Okay. Which you and me confirmed yesterday. I still have at least one usage of sleep. Or not yesterday, but. Yeah, you have one spell slot time. left. Yeah. Yep. One spell slot left. We need to loot and go. I still got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, you need another house to rob. <laughs> Just like, you know. I think you guys didn't even spend one night in the city before you start robbing the place. <laughs> I think they deserve. Yeah, well, he invited us to rob him. That's actually true. It is true. <laughs> he was asking for it. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm a rogue. This is kind of my thing. <laughs> I'm not rogue. <laughs> okay. Uh, just uh, to Priest, check. were you able to get in? Um, yes, I just can't see characters or a map. I just want to make sure, is anybody watching the stream? I just want to make sure the stream is properly showing yes. everything. I see all the things in the stream. I just, yes, audio is there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so in your right hand corner, you should have characters that you can go to. Yeah, it brings up um, character wizard. Oh, I have to give you, I have to give you. Um, yeah, he has to give I you. I relinquish control. Oh. Okay, there we go. And then right. as, I found a, yeah, you give me that. And then as far as maps, go to images, and it's going to be that first image that says D&D &D map, blacksmith, two story. There we go. Oh, I can't do I got to do it from my... My side here. La, DM side. La, la. Uh, let's go here. Listen, yeah. we walked into town, said peace was never an option, and started making a <laughs> Are you? I don't understand these customs. I don't understand why, Priest. So I don't understand these customs. It's it's what he said. How do you not know this? Okay, now under character selection, you should see Eile, and you can take control of him. There you go. Yes. I and should here. Okay, I got the character sheets. Main skills. Okay, so I got my. Yeah, it's up. Yep, I I got him. I have, I have found myself. Yeah, okay, now I can't uh, see his character sheet, so that's, that is correct. Yes, I have found myself. Thank you very much. All right, and then I think we're ready to go. So um, what is the plan? So you were on the first floor. Um, there's a, a storage room that was locked here. There's door to the outside so there was not two rooms now there's just the one storage room and uh this door um behind or a little up from polyan is the locked door to the storage room which is where the stairs are to go upstairs actually it's not locked anymore because this um came down the, the veteran would have come and unlocked it so yeah 
So he came down He's the stairs. very kind. Yeah. So there's the nice. the blacksmith part is actually outside the door, um, but it is like boarded up from the outside. So inside here is some in progress work uh, you saw when you came in. And then uh, this this room where you guys are all in is where all the the material for sale is pretty much there. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, now that we've alerted every yard within a 10 mile radius, <laughs> uh, we're on a time limit. So, somebody lock the door to buy us some extra time, loot what you can. I'm going to run upstairs and see what we got upstairs. Okay, I'll take the uh, the um. Like the the main desk where the, where the where he sells stuff. So if he keeps anything under the counter by the main desk, that's where I want to look. Okay, so you're already pretty much there. So I will. Um... I will go look at Smithy. You're gonna go. And... Okay, I'm gonna just move you guys. We're gonna do it in round uh, work, but it doesn't need to be by. Um... Oh, I can't do it from there. Hang on. I, I can do it here. Just making sure someone did lock the door before they ever they ran off and split into groups, right? <laughs> it's being well blocked by this body. the door. You're gonna lock the door? Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Glad somebody listened to reason. <laughs> and then we can Barbarian. There is no reason. Yeah. Um, Brash and Ily and Zero were the closest to the door anyway, so. Right, <laughs> so I'm going to move Barash into here. Um, Zero said you're running upstairs, so you get 10, 15, 20, 45, 30. You're going to dash, I guess, so. Five, yeah, 15, there's no reason to not dash. Uh, so you get up to about here. Okay, that's one round. Uh, so, Pollyan, you can do uh, an investigation just where you are. Hey. Okay. Oh, and Eileen right. goes and locks I'll the drag. door, so that's his action for this round. Yes. There's oh. extra people in here. I keep oh. investigating. That was lousy investigating. Well, it, uh... You investigate, do investigate. Interesting. Oh, eight. Okay, you have nothing in the investigation. Okay, um... See, huh? Yeah, you see, I mean, that's enough to see what's on the table, so there's, there's a few swords and weapons on the table. There's, uh, um, a locked, uh, box in the table, um, or like a drawer, where you figure the money probably is. Um, but that is currently locked. I don't need and the then, money. And then Although if there's something else in there valuable, and then that might be what we're talking about. There's papers on the desk. Other than that, you don't find anything. The weapons look like decent quality. Um, without a tech magic, though, you wouldn't know if they were magical. Okay, so that's your turn. So now we'll go into a new round. Um, it doesn't matter what order you go in. I'm just going to count how many rounds you're doing this for so just say what you somebody okay. go ahead i will and search it. smithy oh actually sorry you could have moved and also searched because you only moved this far so i have to use investigation not in uh not perception i mean perception is like a uh just a glance around without actually you know opening drawers and stuff like that so investigation is more thorough Birchy. Yeah. Today's today's lousy rolls will be brought to you by a 2019 Malbec. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Okay. The lousy rolls. We have the infinite ability. <laughs> yes, that's one of your better ones, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, Three so, higher than usual. So you basically find, um, you know, blacksmith tools, some, you know regular items not non-weapon non-armor stuff in there 
It doesn't Apparently, look like yeah, anything. I found an anvil. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything valuable would be in this room anyway. Like you can make a perception check too if you want, and just see if you see anything obvious. No. No, it looks pretty unvaluable. Other than like the actual, you know, forge and stuff like that, you can't really take with you. <clears throat> okay, so that would have been the first round. So on the second round, uh, Z, you're going to try and go in that room and look? Yep. Okay, let's put you over here. Make your investigation. Cool, something I'm actually proficient in. But no, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, you find a <clears throat> locked drawer as well there. Um, you find like uh, um, notes and, and notebooks and papers and some food trays and stuff on the table. Um, you think there's th in this drawer there might be something um, valuable. Do you want to? I'll, I'll let you also pick the lock if you want this round. Mm hmm. So what was the picking lock? Was that did we do a sleight of hand last time? Yeah, I think we did sleight of hand. It doesn't make it sense. It's just a lock yeah. pick one, but. It's supposed yeah, to be the tool. Just uh, proficiency with the tools. Yeah, which you Next have. Next bonus plus, plus your proficiency bonus if you're proficient with thieves tools, which of course you are. Yeah, which you might as well use sleight of hand because it's the same number. But yeah. there's no like thing, there's no thing to drag over. So. All right. Come on, R and Jesus. There you go. That's better. Okay, you unlock that drawer and inside you find... Uh, a bag of gold, uh, some uh, other uh, documents, and a, um, uh, a potion. A so, potion, you say? Yeah. You can what easily kind of... grab all those things yep, if you were in a hurry. What kind of potion is it? You want to sit there and figure out what kind of potion it is? I don't I think so. No, not really. I'll figure <laughs> out later. Good, uh, good plan. I'll... <laughs> I'll figure out later. But yeah, I'm going to grab everything there. Documents and everything. Okay, so Fuck this dude's documents. You still, you can grab, every, you can, okay, you've picked the lock. So yeah, you can grab everything next turn and move. Okay, so uh, back down to Pauline. You're going to try and open that drawer? Yeah, I might as well. It's locked. Yeah. As well. Then, um... But you can also, I guess... Well, I don't have thieves to, tools, so I guess you I need them to do the thing. To do to yeah. pick lock, yeah. Okay. To, to eldritch blast it, no. <laughs> or you could try and pull on it, or like. That's a strength roll. I'm not making strength roll. <laughs> or you could I mean, move to have... you could move to another area and let Barash do it. Yeah, you could have Barash just break it open and just. He is barbarian. He, he, yep. he does best. I believe he's still raging. Sure. Oh no, you wouldn't have taken damage, so now you're. No, I would have faded. Be yeah. Then I will investigate whatever is in the back of the room. Okay. With All a right, crappy start. roll. Looking we through some crates. Bring... We'll investigate that. Have... Oh, on crates. Be good to me. Yay! Hey. All right. We you need... open some. I was about to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I was about to say, we need to find something to bring back to the stage. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, I have great cool. expectations. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> For that, you find nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough but fair. <laughs> um, you find a, a suit of decent looking armor in there. Um, a, it is a um, suit of uh, plate mail. Oh. So you know for a fact that's valuable, even if it's mm -hmm. just regular. And then uh, in another one, you find a. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, you find um, like a rolled up uh, carpet. Ooh, that's even it, if it's. It could be a tapestry normal. or something. You're not normal. sure. Yep. Well, yeah. those are worth. Uh, reco recouping. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you find in the third um, crate, because you rolled so high, uh, also a um, uh, a 
bag of um of uh ammunition for a uh a sling like uh pellets sling stones yeah cool okay well i oh, can carry and... some of that i could probably carry the carpet and the sling stones but i'm gonna need help with the armor and actually roll roll one more um one more uh, perception uh, perception check this time perception okay one second I love that. Um, so with the uh, pellets, you actually see there's a um, hidden under like a board or something to look like the bottom of the crate. You you pull that away and you see that there is a strange looking weapon there. Looks kind of like a hand crossbow, but not uh, with no string. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'll just. Uh... Take Just that trying there. to take that for a <laughs> second. <laughs> All right, so that's what you find in there. So the armor is going to be too heavy for you, probably, and so is yep. the carpet. You think the carpet? Okay. So it's like a room-sized carpet, or a... yeah, it's like a um, like a five kind of imagined five... it in like a six foot by two foot configuration, but it's if more not, like five. Then, yeah, I'll... it's five by ten. Five by ten. Okay. Yeah. That's wow. It's big. Mm-hmm. Could fit a whole party on that. Okay, so you had told Barash to get the desk. So you're gonna yeah. do that, Barash? Yeah. Yeah. Grab drawer and give pull. Okay. Make a strength check. Then of course Barash is gonna be needed to carry that armor, but all the same. Did it land? Did it go up? Oh man, actually it rolled decent. Yeah, you still, oh, have ad- you still have an advantage because of your um, it's keeping rage on you, but I'll I'll let you have it. It was an eighteen and a nineteen. So okay, so yeah, either way, it's he's good. really mad at that drawer. Okay, you <laughs> yank the drawer off the um, desk, and inside there is a uh, bag of gems. We need nice. those. And a um, uh, a ledger. And uh, um, <clears throat> and a, a dagger that looks pretty fancy. We will take all of these things. All right. And uh, um, Pauline is coming from uh, armor and carpet need too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm carrying a dagger here. <laughs> dagger. <laughs> I'll carry that <laughs> bag of gems. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you take the book as well, the ledger? Yes. Okay. All right. And then uh, what's Eileen going to do? There's a table over here, and, and there's a pile of things over on the on the right side. Um, I'll probably just go investigate that, see what's over there. This table? Yeah, I'm going to okay. investigate that table. All right. Uh, roll for investigation. Which one is that? The 20? Um, so when you uh, when you have your character sheet up, uh, if you go to the skills tab, okay, give me a second here. <laughs> see if I can show. Because you'll see main and then right below the skills. Sheets. Um, give me a second here. Okay. Main check. Yeah. So in there, you should see investigate, and if you drag where the little um, plus uh, bonus is, you can drag that over onto the. Onto the chat right. area. Oh, I'm not going to see. Investigate is INT. Yeah. Um, there should no. be a, pl- a bonus. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. Okay. Look, You're on the, main. look on this side. There's going to be uh, abilities. Ha- no, yeah. So there'll be main skills. skills and abilities. Go to skills. Yeah, he's on there. I think he's got investigation. See where it says plus one, I guess? Plus one? Yeah. Drag that. There's a little die there. Drag that die got over it. to the, I got the chat area. I see that right? It's got to go into the chat area. The yeah, there you go. There we go. Oh, nice. I like this guy already. 
All right, so you find a bunch of uh, weapons there. Um, the best looking one is a is a battle axe. Um, but there's also a, a long sword and a um, a hand axe and a pick. I take the long sword and the uh, the battle axe. Pick both of those up. What's your, you have a pretty good strength, I think. You can probably carry them all. I don't take everything then. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Look for a tiny one foot by one foot bag that might be in here. We can... <laughs> yeah. If there's a bag of holding, that'd be really convenient right now. <laughs> yeah, no playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you have 14 strength. You're fine. Actually, what is playing strength? I could just grab everything. Why not? No, oh, regular. Okay. I was about to say, Eileen had enough strength to fucking grapple me when I was flipping the hell out. I might, they should have enough strength. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Zero, you're quite strong. You just increased it. Yeah, I have an 18 in strength. Yeah. Oof. Mighty rogue. That burly rogue. <laughs> 18 in strength, 16 in dexterity. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you can... Um, the two dragonborn can probably go and help get the armor and the and the uh, carpet, and then that's probably all you. Uh, that's been three rounds basically. Yeah, that's about all time we have to get stuff before guards start showing up. Okay, so Eileen will grab that the weapons. That sounds good. Um, there's a few more weapons on this other desk that you can also grab, I guess. Yeah. Um. Let's grab everything. Although it is going to look pretty obvious when you guys are running down. <laughs> An arm full of weapons, garped in a, in a suit of armor. Yeah, we can't. We, <laughs> clang, we, clang, we, clang. We should probably just take what we have right now. Get too greedy, otherwise alert everybody. Hey, guess what? We did it. Or you know what you could do is load all of the stuff onto um, zero, and he drinks the potion of invisibility. <laughs> You know what? That's not a bad <laughs> fucking plan. It's just an in inventory because I forgot all about it. Might as well. Get down and here. I have some weapons for you to carry. <laughs> bring them here. Everybody give stuff to me and get the hell out. I'm going to take this right. yonder way. All right, I'll head up to you then. We right, we I'll load everything. We we right. we lay out the carpet and then we load oh, everything onto yeah. the carpet. And then he makes it into a bag. And then he drinks a potion of invisibility. And then he goes away. And then I go out the secret entrance, because I'm invisible, and take it to the dude. And then bring money back to everybody else. Because I am a rogue, and stealth is kind of my thing. And that's why it's Probably. never shown in city. <laughs> All right, so you um, hear guards uh, running towards the town as you're, as you're wrapping stuff up in the carpet. Um, you uh, start hearing them banging on the door um, when you get your invisibility potion in your hand. What are the rest of you doing while that's happening? Out the, the back. back. They out. They outy. Goodbye. Okay, so out this way. You guys are going to go this way. And are you going to go that way too? Or are you going to try and yeah. get through a window? Nah, I don't want to be noticed. I'm going to go out the back too. Okay, so you it's all go out this way. It's just I'll be invisible, so I'll be able to slip by easier. They need to head a totally opposite direction for me because I'm making a beeline towards the secret entrance. Okay, so, so you guys are going to go that way, and you guys are going to go this way. Okay, um, so now, Zero, you make your stealth check at a, an advantage. So make it at advantage. Two seventeens. No problem. They do not notice you. Uh, now the <laughs> the rest of you. Do you want to all go together, or do you want to split up? I think we split up. Yeah, we should split up from here so that way they're not suspicious of our activity. Okay. Zero's got to come back anyway. He'll bring you the money. All right, then make a um, individual uh, stealth check, not at a, at an advantage. This is great. I don't have to be stealthy at all. I just have to be stealthier than Barash. <laughs> <laughs> you probably are. <laughs> Barash, right, so each I of you. 
Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but are you going to be? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. God. <laughs> you were selfier than I, Lee. <laughs> All right, so we're at two... <laughs> Big I doubled your roll and beat you by one. The two big burly dragonborn sneak away silently. <laughs> uh, so all of a sudden I'm going, hey everybody, look at me. <laughs> um, so two separate groups of guards uh, notice the two of you in different areas um, as you're running. So Paulian, they say, hey, you there. And what do you do? Uh, not stop. Oh, you're not gonna talk. Try and talk you your way. You can talk out. your way out with nobility, can you? No, oh, that's true. You were just out um, for a midnight jog. You <laughs> just don't know if they where they saw you come from. So yeah. yeah. How far away from the place am I right now? We are uh, a long way. Back. This will be just like, it... near the place, so like within right. thirty feet of it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna round a, two more corners, then I'll stop and see if they catch up. Okay. Uh, and uh, when I do that, I'm gonna like, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna dismiss. I, I'm gonna keep my armor on until I round the second corner, then dismiss it. Okay. So that I look so that I look different when they catch up to me. Um. Your armor doesn't appear. There's nothing visible. It's a field sure? of force, I believe. It could be. I thought it had a visible glow think, or something. You guys in somebody was in disguise. No, you weren't because you were already human. I was in disguise. Yeah, you were in disguise. Brash and Eile are both in disguise. Yes. And I you, look you like a magical force, force, yeah. I think you were also in disguise, Zero, weren't you? I was. Yeah. Because I was using disguise self. Yeah, so you were disguised and you're invisible. <laughs> okay. They're not finding me, and if they oh. do, what are they Alright, so you go down a few more streets, they start to chase you. Yeah. Um, let's see if you I can... just, like, I would come around a corner, and then I just, like, lay on the ground on my back, right, like, right in the middle of the street. Uh, and, like, my premise here is, like, whoever that is you're chasing... Knocked me down and kept going that way. <laughs> they they saw you already moving, so I don't think that's gonna. From what you can see, that that's what I was trying work. to make yeah. my appearance different. Uh, you could hold up. What you could can do I... though is is you could like punch yourself if you want and just say that they did that and you were you didn't know if that you if the guards were more thugs. So if you want like or actually did you get or, hit? did you get hit in the thugs. no. Hey, can I make a? Can I interject here real quick? So I'm looking at mage armor, and it does cast somewhat of a like. It looks like a um. A shimmer. <laughs> it's like a uh, spectral armor. Oh, spectral okay. Armor. So it does sort of show yeah. up a little bit. Okay. It, it, <laughs> it does show up over your body as kind of a ghost-like appearance. Okay. Right, and so I round this at last corner so that when they come upon me laying on the ground, I look different than when, than the person who ran around the corner. Uh, okay, uh, make a deception check, I guess. Okay. Now, are noblemen good liars? <laughs> oh, come on. No, <laughs> apparently, apparently not. not. You should be, but... Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. That is, what's where's my inspiration? I have inspiration. I'm gonna use it. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> better. Oh, <laughs> All right. This is like what I'm supposed to be able to do. So, <laughs> so you get around there and you're you're doing the lying on the ground or trying to get up from. Yeah, I'm basically down. getting up like I've just been knocked over. Okay. My glowing armor is gone. They didn't get a great look at me. Okay. So, what a C. I'm like, he went. If, that is if the guards come around the corner, I just kind of size them up a little bit and said, "He went that way." Yeah. Make sure they know about the hobgoblins that roughed you up. <laughs> I doubt. I I wouldn't push that because obviously the hobgoblins are allies to these guards and shit. So. Are yeah. they? You guys don't know. <laughs> you just heard they were here. That's just um, an imprint because if they're coming in and not waging. Then 
Okay, so you got no. 21. Yeah, they look at you very suspiciously, but um, they go... Dust uh, off my nice clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I stand up. They go, hey, what are you doing over Young there? Young ruffians. So they say, what are you doing over there? They got their I'm going back out. to my hotel. What happened? I don't know. A guy vote yay high, I say, and like, I hold my hand like you almost know. my height. <laughs> um, ran around this corner, knocked me down, and ran that way. All right. Um, so that would be the deception. They look at you suspiciously as they run past, but they keep going. All right, you've escaped. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> okay, Eile, um what's your plan for getting away? They are chasing you. Uh, um... Oh. <laughs> Eile could turn into a pile of stars, Gumby. Or you could, you could just turn into a, like a, a a bat or something. Ooh, yeah, um, why don't I just do... Why don't I go into a uh, wild shape so that way I can get like transform into yeah, like a bat so I can just fly away. Yep. Oh, uh, I don't think you're at the level where you can get flying creatures, but you can turn yeah. into like a dog or something. Oh, yeah, that's would be to that. That's to that. Turn into that. A, you can also turn into a yeah. mouse now. So you run around the corner. Um, let's yeah. just make a, um, a dexterity check to see if you can get out of their line of sight. Hey. And then... Um, your wild shape will take over. All right. Which one? Should I use stealth for that one, or? Yeah, use stealth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my. my! His luck has transferred. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, you go to run into an alley to do to change, do your wild shape and you trip on the way to the alley and fall on the ground and the guards surround you. You trip on a real dog. <laughs> a real dog. What the hell? Alright, uh let me grab some guards here. Great, now I gotta fight these things off. <laughs> oh no. Well, Zero's out of the city, so you're on your own. Yeah, everyone has escaped except Lily. Yeah, just the lowest level and lowest hit points guy. <laughs> I, I might as well just I might as well just step on my feet, go to get arrested, and priest comes in, out. takes over an NPC, and, and dies. <laughs> Game over. Game I knew we hardly knew ye. Hmm. So real quick, it's not supposed to be proficient at that, um, and it just did not work. <laughs> no one can evade that one. Uh, Logan, mm -hmm. since I am still invisible, could I, and I can easily stay out of sight. I, you know, I'm not going to bump into anyone or anything, and I can study myself. Can I assist them with my familiar? Invisibility uh, doesn't last forever. It might not last forever, but it doesn't need to last forever. It's like an hour or something. So, I, and what did you yeah. want to do? Sorry, I want to assist them in getting away with my familiar. If you take because an I, action that is in any way like combat-ish, you will lose your invisibility, which includes sending your familiar to distract. Uh, well, it was worth a shot. Um, I'm afraid of this combat tracker. Maybe. Because right, unless they just wild shape into a mouse and dip out under shit, that's, you know, since they're so oh. small and harder to hit, I don't think there's going to be anything that they can do to get away from that. Granted, there's a lot of mice in the city, so. That might be their best bet. Okay. Um, I'm not going to have this many guards, but...
I don't know. I'm just trying to pitch ideas because I don't want that to happen. I don't want them to come in, take over a PC, and die. <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, luckily for initiative, um, so they've come up to you. Uh, let me see where are they here. Do anything with both land. Oh, I gotta reveal them. So I can't just feign exhaustion or sleep or something. <laughs> They come up to me and I just pass out. <laughs> um, it's possible, but I think your best bet is still to just get away from them and then wild shape. Okay. I think that's wrong. So, uh, a roll for your initiative. So, that'll be on the first page of your character sheet. Main. It'll be under int right next to your AC. Yeah, and okay. Int. Just drag, yeah, right, that, right. drag that die over to the chat. Yeah, all right. That's 14. Okay, so you beat them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to try to out ship again. Yeah, so... Um, oh, uh, closed it. I tried doing a mouse. This so, time. yeah, so um, you've got one guy right next to you. And uh, the other mm -hmm. guys are further away, so you can just try to get away from that guy. He'll get an opportunity attack on you, but you should be able to just move away from him. Okay, yeah, I'll just move away at first. Okay, it's so... I'll just move away first. Yeah, so I'll just say you can go, like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then um, we'll say this is in an alley. Yeah. And then so he'll get this one guy will get opportunity attack. Now let's see if they hit. Because these guards weren't doing shit on hitting. Yeah. Guard number four. They're guards. They went to Stormtrooper school. Hmm. I swear. Do, 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 do. Spear. His oh luck my is God. so bad. <laughs> I'm seeing this. Let's be honest. You wanted to bring in your old character in. <laughs> uh, I thought about it. <laughs> well, at least you weren't wounded before, so. Yeah, no. I mean. No, you took eight. Just... That wasn't too bad for a crit. Yeah. Okay, no, and then you can transform into a wolf, which now yeah. you get the wolf's hit points, or uh, I guess yeah. a dog. We use a wolf well, stats. So. Yeah, that works. And then um, I'm going to say that if you can make at least one DC 10 stealth check, you can get away. Make sure I grab so the right dice. Not, not a given, though. <laughs> Do not so roll far. for it. Good enough. Mm -hmm. All right, so you Good bolt enough. off as a dog, and then uh, <coughs> they are unable to find you again. Well, the good thing I have Chalice Farm for healing later. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not really that useful unless you're healing other people, because it just adds, like, yeah. when you heal someone else, then you get some healing. I've but, got um, some medicine. I can do medicine and stuff. So I, I we also try. have healer back at hotel. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can just get me healed. I think you still have a heal spell left anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because they didn't use too many heal spells while um we were in combat. So okay. Yeah, when I got when I well, I'll heal when I get a chance. All right, so you escape from here. Um, I'll just use this map. And bring up the 
I didn't die instantly. <laughs> Yay! You made it. All right, so everybody makes it. Um, Zero makes his way over um, back along here to the red X and goes okay. through the secret door. Um, there are some yep. people walking around there, so you need to make one more stealth check. Should be pretty easy, though. Is it still at advantage? Yeah, you're invisible? still invisible. Yeah. All right, stealthy stealth at advantage. Good thing it was advantage. <laughs> yeah, no playing. I saw that one in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Drug. so you get through the um, hole, and now it is. Um... Oh, except you're you're carrying all the stuff, but you're also like you're very big, and this hole is very small. Plus, all the stuff is very small. Big. So. Big. In the hole and just go. Let's make a um, just a straight a, bigger. <laughs> a straight strength check and then a dexterity check to kind of dig your way and and squeeze your way through. So just use the stat or use the yeah just the stat. Just drag. Okay, cool. So strength first. Okay, you manage to dig out enough room to fit through with all the stuff, and then uh, roll for the. Um, dexterity to squeeze yourself through. Motherfuck! You get stuck. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna wiggle our way through eventually. <laughs> okay, uh, you're stuck in this hole. Uh, you've pushed through the, the larger um, packages, uh, but you get stuck when you're trying to get through. So... Um, you it takes you a while to get through and your your invisibility wears off uh i'm just gonna see if anybody would notice you oh uh make another okay. stealth check without advantage without advantage yeah be a rock oh mother <laughs> shit <laughs> all right some uh, observant guard spots you going through this hole and uh, and you wiggle through but now they know about the hole you still manage to grab the stuff and, and head off if you see he can't get through there to chase you but they know there's a hole there now oh well we just need it for this one time use anyway <laughs> screw it for anyone else though all right uh, so you get over to the be all right you get over to the the dwarf and uh it's late he's um his shop is closed up but he is still in the shanty town we're going to walk up to him or if he's inside a building we are going to come from the door one of the two did the rest of you guys want to just are you just heading straight back to the uh to the yes. hotel yes yeah okay all right you guys no, safely I, oh, I, safely get I back Oh, I can heal up and get healed up and everything. So, I assume you'll just retrace your steps yes, about the same way, or did you want to go a different way? Um, I was gonna. I'll take a different route just in case, because I don't want in case people like record. Yeah, you know, just in case. <laughs> I mean, you All just right. look like a stray dog. <laughs> okay, you guys make your way back. Uh, eventually, I'll maybe reveal a little bit more of the town here. There we go. I'll take a different route back so we can get some more uh, viewing space. Yeah, I take, when I, once I get back, I take a short rest. Okay, you will have that time because yeah. it took uh, zero quite a while to get through that hole. Yeah. Okay. Then I will take long rest. <laughs> you will yeah, have I'll a long rest at some work. point. Uh, let's say someone goes through here. Just some healing too, though. Once I get back to, so I'll take a different route, come back, heal so up, and then rest right here. Well, luckily, Zero wasn't disguised as a the fucking scribe. Jeez. And luckily, it's nighttime. I don't think they saw what I was looked like anyway. So. Yeah. You probably just saw your boots and was like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> All right, and that's uh, now the getting three back into night is going to be an issue. Yeah. Well, you still have 
You still have your disguise self up. This invisibility would have worn off, but your disguise self, I think, lasts for... Oh, no, that was only a short... What is the timing on disguise self? And that hours thing? I have no idea. Hold on. Uh, let me go look that up. Uh, this guy... Oh, I'm actually going to have to go Firefox to look at it. Shit. Wild ship last All right, D and D Beyond, pull up. Okay, I'll uh, figure out what the guy's gonna do. I'm just waiting on D and D to Beyond to quit being a bitch. Okay, spells. This guy self. Last for an hour. Okay, so it would have worn off too. Yeah. Now you would have probably had to recast it to be in the bar and do all that stuff. It'll be all right. <clears throat> I'll assume when you went on the job, you didn't recast it, so you just didn't have it on anyway. Okay, um, I'm going to do notes here. Oh, now, the worst part is, unless this guy has another uh, potion of invisibility, I'm kind of screwed on getting back into the zone tonight. He well, can disguise self tomorrow. <laughs> okay, it's already nighttime. Interestingly yeah, enough, here's... the potion that you found is a potion of invisibility. This dude does not know I have it, therefore it does not matter. <laughs> well, he has to I'm identify it for neutral. you, but he hang on, he'll give it to you anyway. Bruh, I have an I, he doesn't have to identify shit. I have our I have proficiency in Arcana. <laughs> Okay, well, so he yeah, doesn't have to identify it as true because he, all the stuff belongs to him. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> probably already to, has. He knows what it is. Um, well, that one was found upstairs, right? So that may or may not belong to him. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Um, and you guys can keep the gold, I think he said. So uh, you found so the <laughs> bag of gems and the bag of gold. Um, it's up to you if you want to give it to him or not. But the bag of gold uh, was 200 gold. So I'm gonna put that. We're gonna into... go ahead and give him what bag of gems. We're gonna go ahead and mm -hmm. well, you know, there's now a missing bag of gems in the town. If we try to cash it in until later, it's kind of gonna be, you know, sus. Yes, I know. I'm not you. I'm no rogue. Always dead. Okay, so I'll just put in this. Um... I'm going to put a parcel in that is going to just be the stuff you guys get to keep. So a bag of gems you're not going to give? No, we give a bag of gems. Well, it's up to zero, not you. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give the bag of gems because legitimately, okay. if we were to try to cash it in until after the town's liberated, then we'd be sussed out. Okay, so I'm going to say... Plus, he could probably use it anyway. Some weapons. So there was a longsword. Um, I shall just take uh, a bunch of weapons. Weapons. Battle axe. Pick. Yeah. Cool dagger. Crossbow no strength. Flight mail. Carpet. A bunch of documents because Zero is going to give him the documents in case it's some doing some like shipments and shit. And he yep. wants and, to raid that. And okay, his ledger. Good. Okay. 
Okay, led ledger. Plate mail documents. Oh, we still their, ledger. We still their records of what was even in the blacksmith. So how are they going to know what's missing? Yeah. Um, Kelter was sitting on Kelter. But there's two. Ocean. Stupid. Ice dagger. I think that was it, right? Bunch of weapons. Uh, the potion, like the dagger, the battle axe, the oh yeah, the bow with the, the gun. Yes, crossbow mm -hmm. strings. It was broken when we found it. Okay, so I think that's everything. Um, so you uh, wake him up, or I guess he's not asleep. You come up to him. He goes, "Oh, lad, there you are. So you're back already." Yeah, I had a little bit of a, uh, you know, it wasn't easy, but I got you some stuff. <laughs> Throw down the carpet and unroll it. <laughs> the suit of armor and weapons and oh, he's, he's, his eyes like bug out of his face. <laughs> it's like. Oh, when I said grab a few things, I wasn't expecting this. Well, you know, we aim to impress whenever we say we're going to do something. He goes, so you, you included the bag of gems? Yes. Okay. Wow. He's happy. <laughs> well, uh, he starts looking at all over it and seeing what uh, condition things are in and, and uh, examining each piece. And uh, he says, "Well, this is this is a, a, amazing. I really, uh, I don't have enough to uh, pay for what uh, what I would think that this would all be worth. But I'll give you the bag of gems, and this dagger, and this potion. Can you tell me what that potion is, by the way? It's a potion of invisibility. Bet I need it." Bet. Gotta find some way back in tonight. Didn't you have a, a secret way in? Yeah, well, you see, what had happened was... <laughs> I'm a little big. <laughs> a, little, a little small. And I might have got seen. So they probably know about that. Ah. Uh, well... It doesn't matter anymore. You need to die. Have the potion. <laughs> potion use, potion regain, potion about to get used again. Let's go. He says, "Ah, oh, and my documents. This is this is great. In case uh, we can have a legal case, if this uh, uh, situation ever gets resolved, I can I can at least document what they stole from me. That's really valuable." Okay, so he says the dagger is a dagger plus one. And mm -hmm. the bag of gems is worth um, about uh, 4,000 gold. And he says this plate mail is worth that on its own. He says it's a magical suit of plate mail. I wasn't able to carry it out when I left. And I'm really right. glad to see it back. Well, at least he's happy to have a bag. Yeah, and he says, uh, <laughs> this, um, this many weapons, too, that's amazing you carry that all. Well, there are perks to being Dragonborn. We <laughs> do tend to be a little strong. Oh, and, uh, um, I don't know if you know what this is. Some little thing I've been working on. He shows you the gun. Oh, yes, I found it rather peculiar that that didn't have strings on it because yes it's a um a new thing that not many people know about it's called uh black powder black powder weapon mm -hmm. and it doesn't need magic or anything it can shoot a blast and fire a, a sling bullet at high speed well, that's fairly accurate Yes, this is very valuable as well. 
but it was uh, something I, I was working on, and it's my first version, so I really needed this to continue being able to, to design this. So I'm very grateful for that. By the way, in the meantime, Zero's just taking a short rest as he's talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can you can all have short rest. <laughs> uh, it takes a long rest to regen spells, so doesn't it? I think so. Most um, spells, yeah, not warlocks. Oh yeah, you get. The... I can only cast two per encounter, but I get them back after short rest. Um, there's a thing on the on the combat tracker. I think you can do uh, do a short rest. Uh, where would that be, actually? Maybe it's not on there. Maybe it's on your sheet. But there's a I thing will, that will do a short rest and do it for you, so it should give you all the stuff back. I am not seeing it. If it is in D&D &D Beyond. I'm not sure, but... I thought I just saw it. Here. It's nice. Or maybe it's a thing I have to do. Hang on. Oh, that could rest. Be. I, yeah, it's a thing I can do. Ah, here we go. I can give everybody a short rest that's on the combat tracker, I think. There we go. Okay, I just looked it up. A, um, okay, that's Warlock. I need... Uh... So did that do anything for you guys? If you check your what? sheet, did it do anything for you? Well, it didn't. Okay, so... A fun fact in 5e, you regain all expended spell slots when you finish a short or long rest. There you go. For, for what class? Arcane this Trickster, every, I guess. Every class that I'm looking at, Warlock, uh, Arcane Trickster, I haven't looked at anything else, but I look for Specifically, Arcane Trickster, because the first thing I pulled up was Warlock. But I then put in uh, Arcane Trickster, and it says just short rest. Cool. I, I don't think it does for Druids, because his didn't refresh. No, almost all of them are, are not that way. Yeah, I guess just the Sorry. lesser Where is I Found it. Bards, Clerics, Druids, Eldritch Knights, Paladins, Rangers, Arcane Tricksters, Sorcerers and wizards regain their spell slots after a long or short rest. Hmm. Maybe I need to look at, mm -hmm. look at this. I don't know. And also, anyone who's injured can um, spend some of their hit dice to uh, heal themselves. Yeah, I, I, I will talk to healer. I'm missing more than a couple. Okay, it's it's dice though. So you, if you say you have four, if you want to use like half of them, you could get two d eight, or no, what's your hit die? Yours is twelve, right? So you could get two d twelve. Okay. Just well, by expending two of them, and they come back at a half every day. So when you sleep for your full rest, you'll get half of them back. And it's all right. I only have one hit point gone. I'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, to heal though, because I'm seven and uh, oh. they they wounded me pretty good. So oh, I rolled an eight. What is Although, would I be able to cast? Um, what did you roll, Brian? I rolled an eight the second time. Sometimes it registers on here. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. It like three times only one. Second. I changed it down to. Oh, there we go. Okay. Finally registered. We'll take it. Sure, that's all yours then. Uh, so 18 and 15. 30. So, Eileen, if you want to do... Um, you can do them one at a time, too, so you can just roll until you're healed. So, if you want to do a D... What is it? I think you have D8s. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, just a D8, then. Yes. Yeah, it's a D8, so... The one that says eight in the front. <laughs> yeah, so just drag that out. Yeah, you get six just back, fixed. so you're just down two. No, we... I'll, I'll do that. That's fine. Be fine there. Okay. I don't want to do too much. Oh. What's this? I don't, I don't need to do all, redo it. I'll go back all the way. 
Okay, no. Okay. okay, I'm reading more on it. I get uh, short rest equals partial recovery. So you don't get all your slots? Not all my slots. Yeah. Alright, I'll finish doing this uh, thing while you figure that out. Druid, wizard, and arcane trickster. Um, short rest equals partial recovery. Long rest equals full recovery. Under arcane trickster, under spell slots, it says arcane trickster spell casting table shows how many spells you have. Blah 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 blah. To cast one of these spells, you must expend a spell slot at the spell's level or higher. You gain, regain all expended spell slots when you finish a long rest. I don't know. I'm finding so many conflictions on here. I think the more this, this is the player's handbook. Yeah, the more specific one is usually the the more correct one. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, then, did that one roll for me, anyways. Zero, you should instead of the gems, you should bring back every uh, one item for each of us because we don't want to be caught with those gems. Instead of the gems, instead of the gems, yeah, he's got a cloak of protection that would actually do something for my armor class. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he's giving you um, the dagger the potion. and the potion. And so instead of the bag of gems, yeah, the cloak of protection would be about the same value. Plus you could yeah. throw in... Well, let's throw something in for Eilie as well. Yeah, throw in like uh, the... Maybe the mithril chain shirt. Well, then we'll do that conversation with him. He still gets um, out the head. Yeah, make a persuasion then, uh, zero. Now, that's not something I'm proficient in, so let's see what I can do. Plus one, let's go. No promises. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, Actually, I was, I was going to say, I don't think there has to be persuasion. How much do you say Bag of Gems was worth? Four thousand. Four thousand. How? And the cloak of protection is thirty-five hundred. Yeah. The mithril chain is eight, and he said he was going to give us a deal. Yeah, yeah I'll all... let it. I'll let it go. Okay. All right. So you'll get the dagger, the potion. Potion. So no bagger. I feel like Zero gets ripped off in this one. <laughs> He's got to use the potion to get back in. Uh, who, or, who he that? doesn't have to. Okay. He could try a bunch of different things like climbing the wall, sneak past the guards. He is a rogue. Well, he is a rogue. Wait, this dude had a potion of climbing. How much was the potion of climbing? Oh, yeah, the potion of climbing. Cheap. 80. 180. And I, I see don't have that active. Okay. Let's go look at D and D Beyond where I actually track my fucking money. Yeah, I think invisibility is worth more. Yeah, invisibility was the most expensive one on there. Uh, be, no, I need to be in my inventory. That's where it thinks. Couch. Equipment. There we go. <laughs> so, that's not happening unless I spend the 200 he gave us. I should get to that. Potion of invisibility will work, doesn't matter. Yeah. Because so... all I have is five silver and eighteen gold on my sheet. Yeah, I have if you it, I want you to the 
do you um do you want the dagger? Because if you don't want that, he could probably give you the mystical chain shirt and something else. Wait, no, I didn't update my fucking. I take the dagger. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think update my feet since I got the, you know, bonus from um patch. Yeah, yeah. So that should be in. That shouldn't be updated in you in. I haven't yeah. imported the characters yet from D and D Beyond. So whatever it says in D and D Beyond for your money is what it should say. Mm. Okay, yeah, but uh, I still have the money from Patch. I can afford the potion of climbing. Oh, you're gonna buy the potion of climbing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, Pat- sell you that for ninety. He'll sell you if you're the half price like he was selling before. Mm-hmm. Anyways. <laughs> And that's what we are gonna do. Also, you said this is a plus one dagger. Yeah. What is the difference between uh, a dagger that's plus one, and when I look on my sheet next to my daggers, it says plus six. That's your it'd be that's, one more than that. Yeah, it, it'd go up to plus seven. And it can also work on things that only are affected by magical weapons. Hmm. Yeah, Polly, and I bet you would take this damn dagger. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, dagger is my uh, melee weapon of choice. Same here. Dagger and short oh. sword. Yeah, go ahead then. Eh, you can have it. I don't even care. I have four daggers. <laughs> so if you can get in with the um, without using a potion, then you can keep those two potions. Yeah. So, uh, just wait for next day. Use this guy's stuff. I can't wait for next day because I have that thing with the rogues tonight. Still, <laughs> I don't have the option or no, I don't have the rogues off. Hmm. And I choose not to piss people who are like me off. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So, uh, he will. So he's gonna give you. So he's gonna keep the bag of gems. <coughs> he's given the cloak of protection, and you already were getting the dagger and the potion of visibility. So he will throw in. Um, actually, he'll just throw in like five hundred gold if you want. Well, what were you talking about for Eily? Uh. The myth- mithril chain shirt. Or if you just want to throw him uh, 300 gold extra, then he'll give you that as the other thing. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I like platinum. I like gold. You, um, platinum's worth 10 gold, so yeah. you, you definitely have enough because you have... I haven't also updated your money from the D&D Beyond, so you should have at least 600 gold. Yeah. Yeah. I do. So you can just pay him back when he gets yeah. back to you. That's fine. I'll do sure, that. we'll I'll pay him back. We'll... Sure, we'll put three. Oh, wait, on. sorry. Can you, Druid, even wear a chain shirt? Can I? Let me look. I, yeah, I don't I think it might be non metallic armor only. Uh, I can wear light, medium, and shields, so. But... Well, maybe that's not a restriction. Maybe that's just like a cultural thing yeah. for some Dru- sects. Druids don't lack the ability to wear metal armor. They choose not to wear it. That's the one. choice is yeah. part of their identity as a mythical, mystical order. Hmm. So maybe not. Honestly, it would just be up to the character at that point. Do you care enough about your mystical order to... Actually, you know what? It isn't really that great because it says that if the armor normally imposes a disadvantage on stealth checks, it doesn't... But it doesn't do that anyway, and it doesn't have a dexterity limiter either, so it's kind of not really worth it. Yeah. Yeah, just take the money. Yeah. We'll just take the money then. Because so. uh... 
because we're splitting that amongst the party, and then I'm getting paid extra later anyway, so it'll all be good. All right. Okay, so he gives you that, and he goes, Ah, oh, thanks so much. No issue. Just remember, just remember to make us your number one customers when you get your shot back. Yeah. Well, anytime you need any of these other things I still have, um, come and see me. You bet I will. You, your stuff hasn't let me down yet. All right, and you are going to try and get back into the city? Yep. Mm. All right. Wait, I could use trance. Trance and got the eight hours of sleep from a human. The rest in trance. So, yeah. I'm fine. As far as my healing goes. So where do I see on my sheet what spell slots I have? Where, on the, the D&D Beyond one or the, the one in here? The one in here. Uh, you can see it in um, inventory. Actions. Wait, so what are you looking for? He just wants to see what he has, I think, under inventory. Oh. I think no. something is missing, though, because I don't think it brings over stuff that would be in the backpack of the D&D Beyond. I'm just looking at my spell slots. So when it comes to items... Spell slots are in actions. Um, yeah, but I don't see where it would say where, how many spells. So on mine, the, the, the top section is weapons. The next one is spell slots, and I've got packed magic listed uh, and two little pips. And then I've got my class features, cantrips, spells. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you how many doesn't spells say you. I have. I just had it open a second ago. Let me see if I can... I'm just... Yeah, okay, so Arcane Trickster, you're fourth level? Uh, level yep. four, yeah. yeah. So you've got three known cantrips, four known spells, and three first level spell slots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see that anywhere. That was weird, I had seen that before. Should be under actions. Yeah. On his sheet, it's not there. I wonder if that's just something in the translation of the uh, class for the Arcane Trickster. I don't know. I know I need to save once. If I'll you go, if you go into preparation mode. Uh, then the bottom left of the on the actions thing, I've got a thing here where I can enter like a whole bunch of different options for spell slots. So you could probably just type them in. Yeah, see under Eile it has the spell slots already there. But what if yeah. you click on click where it says combat and turn it into standard and then preparation mode? Hang on a second. Oh, preparation. Combat. Next one. Yeah, it still doesn't. I popped up a whole list of like spell casting and pack magic spell slots I could enter, but yeah, it maybe doesn't not show sure. one. Here's... Yeah, right there is on standard. This is preparation. I don't know. It'll be all right. I was just trying to figure it out because um, of the short rest and making sure that I didn't regain spell slots in the case that anything was changed, but it'll be all right. I'm just mainly trying to make sure I have one sleep spell saved. 
Yeah, it's weird. It does show up on Eile, but not on yours. I guess because it's a rogue and it starts out without spells. Hmm. Yeah, probably so. All right, you just have to keep track anyway. This makes sense. It's only three. Okay. All right, so let's get back into the city. Yeah, so what's your plan? Well, they already know about the thing. Is there a spot on the wall where not many guards are stationed? I mean, there's not a lot of light between the walls, so you can probably just climb over a wall when the guards are walking, finished walking past. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. Do you want to, which part of the wall do you want to go on? Um, Probably not near six because that's where you guys were most noticed. Yeah, not near six. And um, seven might be the best one because it's the longest section of wall up by yeah, seven. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with seven then. All right, so you sneak around there and then you're going to try and go in the middle section when the guards are walking. Uh, yep. So first you'll make your stealth check to when you're climbing up. Are you going to use the climb potion or just climb? Uh, due to the... There isn't a thing... Climb is going to be athletics. Athletics? Uh, I do not have... Well, I have a plus four in athletics, but... I think I'm going to use potion of climbing because I'm not... I'm trying to guarantee success back into the city. Okay, so uh, just let me check the climbing potion. I think you can. Um, I think it gives you spider climb, which means you can just walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just gain a climbing speed equal to your walking speed for one hour. You had advantage on the strength check made to climb. Okay, so you can roll the, um, so first roll the stealth. Okay. With or without advantage? No advantage. Uh, I'll give you advantage for it being dark in that area. Okay, cool. Okay, that seems to be good enough. Let me just roll for them. Yeah, they don't notice. Um, so you manage to get a point where they're, um, you're, you just walk up the wall, basically, but you still need to, or no, you can you just climb really fast. Okay, so roll advantage with your, um, with your athletics check. With athletics. Okay, that's good enough. You climb up there as fast as you could walk, so... In one round, you get up to the top of the wall, uh, skip over, and then roll to climb down. Same thing, advantage. No problem. You climb down even easier. And uh, then roll for um, another stealth check to get away from the wall without them seeing you. It's still at advantage since it's dark, or? Yep. Yeah, advantage with dark. Motherfucking shit! <laughs> Holy hey, man. you there! <laughs> the hell At least no, they spotted goodbye. you on the other side of the wall. Okay, so the guards on the wall spot you as they're coming back uh, towards that part of the wall. We and, dipping out by. And uh, I was gonna, just going for walk. You're gonna run for it, so. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll give you one more um, uh, stealth check to get away. And this one's going to be normal. Damn it. Yeah. Do me right, dice. Thank there you. There you go. All right. You, they start to chase you, and then you lose them down in one of the alleyways. I am a stealthy dragonborn. I'm big as shit, but I can hide quickly. <laughs> All right. Apparently, and, both of us can. And uh, you, <laughs> you get back to the uh, inn... Uh, it's still a little while before you have to go back and talk to those other rogues. So, um, yeah, you can go and tell the people what happened. Yep. 
<laughs> Wait, is anybody working at the front desk at night? Because sure. if so, I'm just gonna. Because if so, I'm gonna have to climb into my window since I don't have my disguise cell phone. Oh right, yeah. Um. All right, one. Um, you can sneak in through the back where the, the um, Eiley had snuck up from the stables area. Um, so yeah, roll a roll a stealth check for that. No advantage. Stealth be, stealth be nice. I said be nice. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, you get in without them seeing nice. you. All right, so you get to the room with the other. Uh, Players, wherever they are, characters, and let them know what happened. So he finally gets back and walks in, just silent as shit. Everybody's resting. <laughs> Throws the dagger onto Polyon, walks over. Oh, and awesome. Puts the gold down in the middle and lays on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it go? Apparently not too bad. Well, don't try to use that secret entrance anymore. <laughs> oh, maybe not as good as I thought. It doesn't matter. I couldn't fit in secret entrance. But... Listen... I had to climb over a wall, almost got spotted, but luckily these guards are about as dumb as a bunch of them, so. I'm tired. So, as a suggestion for the, um, I assume you tell them everything that you got from the, yeah. from the dwarf? Um, so I just say, uh, suggest as a, a fairness thing that the people who got the better magic items the cloak of protection and dagger should maybe opt out of the um money and split it between the other two yeah, yeah. that makes sense oh, need the money. oh yeah there was the fucking cloak of protection that gets hurled at brass's face <laughs> well, thank you it'll come in handy protecting everybody else from the stupid critical thing Okay, so if that is the case, there was a 200 gold and then another 500 gold from the uh, dwarf, so then that would be 700 gold between two people, so 350 for Eile and, uh, and um, Z. Z, yeah. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so sounds that's good. divided up. Um, put those in your D&D Beyond, not in the... Um, in in this because it'll just get overwritten so aha i put them in both that's good too that works so three i need a dac now yeah that's pretty good now yeah cloak of protection is plus one if i could get a magic shield i'd be at 20. Sorry, Cloak of Protection is a plus one yes. to AC and saving throws. And saving throws, so yeah. Oh, and save. Okay, and uh, um, now what are you guys going to do? I assume there's still the other mission with the rogues? <laughs> yeah, I still got that. Okay, did you guys want to involve yourselves in that or not? Have no. you told them even about it? Yeah, you told no. them about it because no. you were. Zero hasn't told them shit. <laughs> I think you mentioned it when you were talking about going to this place because you were saying that the rogues would be mad. No, I was talking about that out of character. Oh, okay. All right, so no. you guys are just gonna um, take your rest. Going to bed. All Going right. To bed. Another day over. Good thing oh. nothing more can go wrong today. <laughs> Better head to bed. Do not jinx me. Why would you say something like this? So, uh, in the interest of continuing to be able to keep the party together, um, you go to the rogues and meet them at their meeting time. And they say that uh, the city is too riled up right now with some other thefts 
and break-ins and people trying to get in the city <laughs> that they don't want to risk it right now while there's so much activity. This is so fine. They'll do it I'm another tired. night. You could this also say I'm tired anyway. You could also say you're out if you want cuz I, I don't think you you actually gave them money, so really you don't owe them anything. <laughs> He'll be fine, but he won't give another date. <laughs> okay. He'll be good. Don't <laughs> contact me. I'll contact you. <laughs> I'll, con I'll contact y'all about y'all's car's extended warranty. <laughs> Later. <laughs> All right. That sounds fair. And I will still talk to Belina and see if she can heal me. Didn't you get all the way there? You're like two down. Oh, it's at like 33 of 50. I had you at 17. I don't know how it went up to 33. With two rolls, you had an 8. You had something like a 7 and, a, and an 11. I, don't know. And 11. I was only at 17 health. So 17 no, no, the, the number in the little column under wound is wounds. So when you reduce it, it goes down. Ah. You had right. only 17 okay. wounds. Got it. Yeah. I thought I only had 17 left. Yeah. That is confusing, is it not? I know. It is. I get it now. I only have one wound that will be healed after a so yeah. Actually, I don't think you get automatic healing. You still have to use a... Um, uh, well, but you could have used one for your short rest and then get it back from your long rest, so... Yeah, that's true. So, Either yeah, way, take, it's I'll just one it hit point. It's just one hit point. It'll yeah. be alright. And same with Eile. I'll assume that you use one more for that. Because <laughs> I have four hit die. If I only use one, then it should res and I get half Yeah, back you'll get one there. anyway. Okay, so uh, that is it for this day. Uh, the next day you guys get up and the... Um, uh, the the gladiator team is ready to go. They have a meeting with you in the morning after breakfast, and uh, they say, or they're asking you basically what you want them to do. Their plan is that they have uh, let's see, day. So yeah, they have uh, two days before they have to do any um, anything in the arena. Um, they're going to do some skirmish stuff in the arena as well, but it's not like a commitment. Uh, they've committed to uh, two day or on day three of you guys being in here. Um, there's a that juggernaut game that they've con committed to playing in, which mm -hmm. you guys can join in if you like. Um, yeah, definitely. And then, other than that, they have uh, basically free reign to use the abilities that are listed in the um, thing I included under story for the Grim Brand team. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I assume you don't have anyone to assassinate yet. Right? right now <laughs> unless this dude can just go ahead and assassinate the leader of the entire city and <laughs> he says that would be really hard but he well, could. I, was, I was saying that out of character <laughs> <laughs> but it would make things simple i specifically had mentioned that before that he it even says something in yeah. my notes here <laughs> yeah i was just memeing the higher the so station the more even... unlikely it can be done it does say higher the station, but what if he's a low life? Well, everybody here's a low life to them, so. <laughs> so this should be simple. <laughs> station is in I I have behold it. Oh. Okay, so what do we do for days? 
So day one, let's just figure out what, what day one is going to be. Yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, let me just pull open. Uh, not that category, obviously. Um, who? What tab was this under? Was it under notes? or oh, so under, under story. story. And then story. it's under Grimbrand Grim Grim support team. So they know what we uh, they know patch and they know what we are doing. I guess. Yeah, they don't know so, full the full details of everything about what you guys already know, but they know that there's someone who's taken over the city. I would think it would be wise to have Mithra for sure do some investigation and gathering information around that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he nods with. With our with our goals in mind, right? We are looking to figure out how to. Are we, is the is the actual objective to dethrone the lo local power, or just get information back to the touch? Uh, who are you asking that of, Phineas, you. or no, me? As um, this that is up to you. Uh, basically, the only thing Patch told you to to do was go there, find out what's going on, and. If you can deal with it, then do so. If not, then just gather information so that someone else can do that. So I think the things we should be looking for is what the hobgoblins are, are part of here, what the bearskins are part of here, and what things are going on in this town that are not empire things. Does that seem like what we need to know? Yeah, sounds right to me. Yes, sir. Sure. I'm just going to go with everybody else. Let's we'll go with the flow of everybody else. <laughs> that totally <laughs> sounds like Eileen. <laughs> what everybody else is doing, I don't know. Really... The, the difference between Eileen and us is usually Eileen has great rules. <laughs> um, it, Until last Eileen... game, anyway. Eileen yeah. either has amazing roles or horrible. So there's no in between. Yeah. Like that shit show that you just walked into was all <laughs> Eileen's fault. Oh, I guess one thing Zero would mention is if he oh the would, raffle. Forgot about the raffle. Uh, he would want to. Uh, yeah. essentially figure out if someone could craft him a disguise since apparently he's not good at crafting disguises where he can move without having to use spell slot where he can move with what without having to use disguise self 24 7. oh yeah because it only lasts an hour at a time and the disguise would uh be more beneficial yeah, I think you had, or Eileen had the disguise kit. I think you can maybe buy some yep, more supplies supplies for it to make it be able to cover three of you. Yeah, I have a disguise kit. And it was, was my inventory. I got a disguise kit. Uh, where is my contest here? Spend a couple minutes muted there. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot I was muted at one time. Thought you were I was also in an earlier conversation. I was uh, added that we should get the stats on the current leadership, figure out who and yes. who's in charge and stuff like that, and add that to our report. You could do that in part of that method of spying. We could do that there, and we could see that could be part of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mithra. Treo and the two blade singers could all do help with investigation. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I could work out well. I don't know who on our team is actually good with investigation. I am not. Uh, <laughs> nope. I, I, I mean, am good with intimidation. It is different. I'm... Paulian is good with talking to people, so if you go into a specific situation, like investigation is only used for like searching, basically, but, um, actual investigation with with talking to people is more your bluff and your 
Um, yeah, I can I can interrogate someone either through intimidation, lying, or being nice all quite well. I'm proficient in deception, but I also have access to uh, the charm person spell slot. So, yeah. Hey, buddy, you should totally tell me about what's going on here. <laughs> Perception, so I can I can always like look, basically get a scout out to see like what, what's going on, see who's in, see who looks like they're in position of power. All right, so the plan is to send out Mithra, Treo, um, and the two blade singers to do investigation stuff. Um, Correct. So. Pick yep. an and piece of information to find for each of those four people. We're and probably going to want... And then pick one for you guys to do as a group. Okay, so... The harder information that we're looking for should probably be handled by Mithra, since yeah. they can impersonate people. And probably have a better chance at getting the harder obtained information for us rather than us or somebody else who isn't as good as figure at figuring stuff out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh... Mithra, what, would we use Mithra to find out who's running the city then, or...? Well, we already... I'm pretty sure we already know from the dude who we were talking to... Okay. Um, at the bar, who he? No, he didn't say who was running the city. He yeah, just I think said. He, did. he. I think he did. We don't. He said he didn't know much about the guy. He wasn't seen for a while. We didn't even know who was really in power. Anymore. They they said that they he knew that he was uh, used to be a gladiator manager, and had kind of really stepped up his position quite a lot from where he came from. Right. Well, maybe what's his face knows him. Yeah, the uh, the actual Phineas, of not the... Phineas. Yeah, yeah, Phineas. Phineas, Phineas Men. We should probably ask Phineas about if he knows who the guy at the bar was talking about. Okay, yeah. Phineas says, oh, "That sounds familiar. Let me um, uh, I'll go out and do some uh, inquiries about that." Okay. I think we'll find out about. Because um, if we can find that name, then we know who's running the city. Yeah. That sounds good. So Phineas will I go think... out and find old links to current leader. Okay. I would think that that um, finding out about Hobgoblin might be better for me because it would be easier for him to blend in. If he right. Did. Since he is a changeling and he changes shape to whatever. Yep. He needs it to be. It would be better for him to go out and, and inquire um, information about the hobgoblins, what they're doing. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, yeah that'll work. That's actually probably, that'd, that'd be a better use of them. The next, then for Treo, because of his profession, let's say, it might be easier to find out what sort of things are going on in town that are not in the Empire's light of good things. Rogue's Guild? Yeah. Zero. Well, we already know that. Like... We already know about the slavery, right? Slavery and arena battles, which is not good. Yeah. Well, since Zero doesn't have anything else to do with these rogues, and since he's not. Since they don't contact him and he has to contact them. He can tell you a little bit about what he knows about what the rogues are doing. Into. Okay, spill. So, as far as the shadier characters that we uh, saw the other night at the taverns, they are part of the Thieves Guild. The And what they're doing here is they are actually taking jobs for... I'm From the ones that I talked to, they're taking jobs from people on the outside to re break into houses, retrieve stuff, and bring it back to them. That sounds but, familiar. <laughs> but these skills kind of look shady and 
any given time, so just don't pay them any mind. They're like hornets. Don't sting them, they won't sting you. Very well. And if it gets and if it gets questioned to you by anyone in the thieves guild, you don't know shit. <laughs> I think I can do. I don't know, Brash. You don't know when to be quiet ninety percent of the time, but <laughs> all the time. Well, you know, it's not me who you know had to uh, beat up the guard that we couldn't fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we know, now that the party knows what the thieves guild is doing in town. I think uh, the others would probably be better, you know, whoever else is left would probably be better figuring out about the bear skins. Because, you know, we have someone on the inside going to deal with the hobgoblins, unless you're squeezing in the bear skins with the hobgoblins. No, I don't think so. Bear skins are people. Tra Treo goes, hey man, what? What is these bear skins like? They're just barbarians. Like me, but little human guys. Hmm. They typically wear bear skin hides. <laughs> Easy to track. We have seen them wandering about town. Loud, <laughs> obnoxious. Drunkards hmm. and I, I might be able to do something with that. Very well. <laughs> um, although... The rogues guild would also be good for me, but uh, I don't know. I mean, that doesn't sound like much. I could find out more. Either way. Right. Well, um, if we need to, if we need to know more about the thieves guild, I can deal with them since, well, you know. Yeah. You know okay. how yeah. rogues be. All right. So I'll investigate bearskins in the city then. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Jaren, Jaren Dill goes, and, and w what should I do? Who is this? This is the, ma male, the blade. male blade singer. Male blade singer. I mean, as a, a, a w blade singer, we have access to, to many spells of enchantment and illusion. Can make use of those in investigation. Um, you can maybe aid Phineas in his search. How about this? How about trying to see which people are more upset with the current changes rather than just agreeing with them because they're racist bastards? So mm. we know who are allies and who are easier to talk to or could be potential allies. Hmm. Um, yes, yeah, Zara and I can, can disguise ourselves for brief periods of time. So we should be which, able to do that. Precisely, which means it'll be easier for y'all to go unnoticed just in one day, out the next. Okay, so they will um, use disguise self and go around and gather information from the people. These are the people. Um... Any particular part of town you'd like us to go? It would probably be better I to... Would... Oh, go ahead, Brash. I was going to say merchant court are better, right? You you sound, your voice is that of, of somebody a little more noble. Um, Phineas uh, speaks up and says, uh, you know, the the uh, um, northern part of town is uh, usually the part where um, the nobles live. Uh, the northern gate is only for nobles. So um, that area around that gate is a noble area. If you want them to go there, that might be a good idea. I think I think that would be good. The merchant uh, quarter is two, number two in that area. So kind of where you guys were before. 
would probably help to know who we can convince, potentially convince, to be more allies in the noble quarters. I mean, they have the power to fall from sky, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is just zero this is zero's perception of nobles they are high and mighty beings that fall from the air and flash it magically that's all he knows about them <laughs> yeah your first meeting of, of Paulian was airdrop was the, the airdrop yeah and then Phineas and then and Phineas the also people. dropped from the sky yes the only noble season med have dropped from the from the heavens to grace them with assistance. <laughs> like angels. <laughs> so strange. <laughs> All right, so so um, we'll get the blade singers to go to the noble area. See what the nobles think. Yes. And any dealings with the Thieves Guild, I can handle since I'm, you know, part of the Thieves Guild. Bless me. And can actually communicate with these people. Without them giving dirty looks and potentially assassinating people in their sleep. Anyway. You make it sound like they're best guys. Listen. One of, the, one of the rogue archetypes is assassin. I don't take chances. <laughs> okay, so they'll go to the noble quarter. Uh, Phineas is going to take the two um, fighters with him to the gladiator area and get them to maybe ask around the gladiators. That works. Really? So we got Mithra going to check out the hobgoblin agenda. Uh, Treo looking for the... <laughs> Be beer, I put beer skins. <laughs> beer <Bear> skins. <laughs> you sound, He's okay, gonna go and get some beers, me. man. <laughs> so listen, my my uncle once <laughs> gave me a boot. My uncle once gave me a bootlegged version of Brother Bear Two, and he misspelled it Brother Beer Two on there because he was drunk as hell while doing it. So that's <laughs> the first thing that they put me in mind. <laughs> All right, and I guess the uh, cleric will keep, play it safe and stay at the hotel. Probably better. In case you guys need it. Yeah, no will keep it there. All right, so yeah. that's oh, that's no, it for the back. for the support team. What are you guys going to look into? We're going to look into the bottom of the tank in the middle. No. <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom of a tank. Uh, I can go and talk to uh, the Thieves Guild around the town more and find out the religion and why they're here and if they're just truly just here for the people on the outside or if they're having dealings with the people on the inside of the world. So do you want to split up and do things individually or do you want to go as a group? So here is here is the problem. What is what is the issue with Dragonborn walking around here? Well that's why I have disguise. <laughs> Yes, I don't disguise them. Yeah, um, you guys did a disguise before with the disguise kit and were able to make it good enough for the evening, but for daytime, it might be a little bit harder. I can disguise well, elf, so that's more of Rash's issue. <laughs> but yeah. if you're in that area, I mean, it is pretty close to the arena area. All the buildings around the arena area are kind of tied to that business, so... There are quarters for and reasons for people to take their gladiator slaves out of there. It's it's still kind of a new thing in the city that they're the it's gone back to slavery for gladiators. Before it was a, it was a um, you know a paid thing and people would do it for money. And so you're not really sure what's going on with that now. That's probably what Phineas will come back with. So that will. I will Sorry. stay with Polian then. And yeah, Polian Polly. can be my guide. Okay, and then Eile, it's a little easier for him to look like a human because he can, he just has to hide his ears pretty much. Um, so Disguise Kit will probably work for him and then yeah. Disguise Self Spell. Yep, 
I can disguise yeah. self to look like anything I cease to be. So you can do it for an hour each cast, and you have three mm -hmm. slots, so do it for three hours. Yeah. And then be like, all right, that's it for me for the day. I need to recharge spell summons. Good night. <laughs> well, it comes out for short rest. I suppose you could take one short rest and then do another three hours. So do we want to go to tavern? Do we want to go to like the common market? Just to sort of hear what it is going on out there with the common people, not the new Um Phineas lets you know that there is a, in the merchant quarter, there is a place called the Titus Emporium. If you look on the map, it's now visible. Uh, look at it there. Listen in and see what's going on in that area. And this is sort of a bazaar kind of area that has lots of different things for sale and vendors and um oh, it would be good. We'd be able to, should we, we should be able to get a decent amount of information from Emporium if it's a bazaar. Yeah. And there's Fall also property. there's also a large building there that is a warehouse of goods that um is a little more stable. But around it kind of is built a, a lot of stalls and <laughs> people selling stuff there. Look for the place of many items. Let's go. Well, I know for me, I'm probably going to need to be... If I want to investigate stuff about the Thieves' Guild, I'll probably need to stick to, like, taverns or anywhere the Thieves' Guild is kind of lurking. Yeah, I mean, you could go back to the same place and try to talk to those guys again. Or some other people. Yeah, I mean, they don't necessarily know that I told these guys anything. And technically, right. I didn't tell them about a job, so... Or I didn't tell them about the job, so that's all good. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just go back to the tavern. I think the rest of us go to Emporium. Yeah, I choose for many items. <laughs> Okay, so Eile and uh, so everyone except for Z goes to the Emporium and Z is going to go back to the Rogues Guild. Okay, uh, looks like we've got about 20 minutes, so I'll do the one that has the more, the larger group, I think. Um, yeah. So you guys arrive at the Emporium and it's just like you would expect from a, a bazaar. It's very um, loud and lots of people calling out their wares. And uh, there's smells of spices and foods and all kinds of different things there. Uh, it's it's pretty um, pretty wild and crazy. There's sometimes people fighting and shouting at each other, haggling, all that kind of thing. And then there's a large building called the Titus Emporium, which is uh, right outs or it's a building that opens from this bazaar into a larger internal building, kind of like a warehouse. It's down. Pretty much these. The two the two buildings um, to the right of the three are the ones that are like that. To the right or to the left? Here. Ah, there. That. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. What? What, what yeah, it is it? it is two buildings, but they've been built into together, and it's been opened up on the inside. What what was it that Phineas said about this emporium, or just told us? He it? said that down by there is a, is the bazaar. There's lots of stuff going on there. He says that the Titus Emporium is a um, uh, a particular business that deals in items from all over the world, and they're a, a single. A uh, merchant by the name of Titus owns it, and so he's that's kind of the biggest place to go to if you're if you're gonna get uh something really unusual or rare very cool all right well let's go take a look there first yeah great we'll go to the Titus Emporium all right you walk in and the first thing you see is there are a lot of um well-armed and serious-looking guards. Uh, they have 
Um, they look like they might, they could also be gladiators. Um, most of them are human, but you do see a couple who are not. So that's a little unusual. And uh, you even see like a half orc and uh, a Goliath in there. Like. So it's well well protected. Um, but other than that, the place is laid out like a kind of like a Costco, where there's just like aisles and rows of stuff, and there's things like carpets and and uh, um, housewares and and uh, and then there's also weapons and and uh armor huh. uh, in a smaller section it's not huge but they have especially items and some magic items in a um there's a one well protected room that is in a separate uh enclosure that says uh magic items are in there Ooh. or it has a s symbol of a that pauline would recognize as a as a magic symbol that's the place right there. Mm -hmm. Well, while y'all are dealing with that, I'll be right back. Okay. Good. Well, we'll go see what's in, in the special section of the truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we'll find it. What I'm going to do for this is, I, is there a particular thing that you are looking for? And then I'll let you know if it is something that would be there. Not that I can afford. That's true. <laughs> Um, question. yeah i guess with the you traded the the money for the for the protection yeah. cloak so i guess you so don't do really they have, have that much do they have magic shields yes does it say how much they are uh shield plus one i gotta pull up my uh always good to know what i'm fighting for yeah. Now, one thing you'll notice here is the prices are a little bit more because it's inside the city. And this is a, a specialty shop, so. Yeah. I might go let's see if they're be like a oh, kind of like a leather armor or something that I can get in there that has a little bit of better stats to it I guess okay uh, let me just check because I do have like insane. 900 so I don't know if there's anything I can afford in there yeah as far as armor goes it's not going to be anything magical you're going to probably only be able to afford just Slightly better armor, but yeah, maybe not. Uh, that must yeah. I that must I use sleight of hand and. I don't think this is the right shot for that. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably best that I don't oh, try to take anything from this place. We'll wait to find out if they are the good guys or the bad guys. The bad guys, then we take it as a The good the guy, maybe they give us. I don't know how much I can get for you, man. It's 900 in this specialty place. Unless there's any, like, I wouldn't need any animals or anything. Oh, there it is. Same magical prices. Ooh. Okay, so the first question was what? Magic shield. Magic shield. Uh, the price here is two thousand for a magic shield. Plus one. 
bit more than I have. And the other one was armor. Yeah, like a leather armor of some sort. Yeah, magic leather armor is going to be probably about 2,000 as well. Oh, I don't have that. I definitely don't have that. No, we're just poor. Maybe ask. Because there's, there's a merchant in this location, correct? Probably the, the things that you guys are going to be able to afford here is probably just anything like a disposable item. Because okay. anything that's permanent is going to be at least a thousand, probably more. Yeah. Yeah, even a simple uh, drift globe is uh, is a thousand gold here. Oh uh, yes, yeah. I'm, I only have nine hundred. I can't really buy much. That's so yes, thing. it is a bit more expensive. So we will go back to the other thing. Well, well I could, I could get, I could, I could lend somebody some, some, some of the shiny money. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't know that even if we all put our money together, except for maybe Paul. Oh, I have nine hundred right now, so I could give somebody a loan. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly loan. Yes. No, I think I think for now we try to get more information. Okay, that's probably best that we go ask. Uh, maybe we should try to find um, Tyrus uh, himself. One thing you do find that you, him. one thing you do find you you might want to be interested in, is um, a dust of disappearance. Oh, I could we could probably use that. It's uh. Let me just get the description on it here. Mm -hmm. I spelled it wrong. There we go. I'm sure so uh, what this does is it, it's a small packet of powder resembling fine sand. Um, and it's it, it's a one use item. When you throw the dust in the air, each creature and object within ten feet of you becomes invisible for two d four minutes. It's the same duration for all subjects. So, it, and the dust is consumed when the magic takes effect. So it's like a mass invisibility, but it it doesn't um, it doesn't last as long. And if uh, one creature attacks, it only ends the invisibility for that creature. Not everybody. Nice. Which is nice. And that is going for 500 gold per bag. Oh, so it's a Minecraft and visibility function. Oh, is that a thing in Minecraft? Yeah, yeah, if you throw a, if you throw a potion of invisibility on the ground in Minecraft, it will cause everybody around it's you to a, go invisible. But it's, go. A it's a splash potion version of it. Yeah. Um. You said it's going for five hundred. Yeah. Okay, I can spend. Um. I'll take. I'll get one for fifty plat. Okay. One dust of disappearance. I'm updating my money in both of these. Yeah. So fifty platinum or five hundred gold. Yeah, I just did the I just did the fifty fifty plat. That's easier for me to manage. Okay. No, I think you can just search to look up the item and drag it in. D and D Beyond. Yeah. Alright, anybody else? No. Not yet. Nope. 
There'll be things like potions in there too. Okay. So, uh, get just a few minutes before the end. Is there anything else anybody wants to do before we end for the night? Well, again, general listen. Yeah, I'll help you with that in a sec, uh, please. Gen general listen in the marketplace to see if we hear any people that are discontent or. I mean, there's a lot of discontent people, but it's mostly at the prices. <laughs> <laughs> there's not many people here talking about stuff about the city. They seem pretty self-centered about just their current their financial situation. Um, but there is a tavern in here if you want to go in there and see what's going on there. Oh, by the way, um, Logan. Mm-hmm. Um, just so I'd let you know right now, on Humble Bundle. Okay, wait till after the, we're going to finish yeah. off the D&D &D and then you can tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Um, I would add, I'll add that into my equipment on, um, Beyond. Yeah, the, and then the I'll do, I'll do an import next, next game for everybody, so. It should all be up to date yeah, in here. I just added, um, I just added in my Dust of Disappearance and. To, to grade the money. Uh, beyond. Okay, cool. And I already, I already affected my money. Okay, I'll just um do a quick um couple of rolls then, and then we'll just give you some information uh, since we're running out of time. Uh, oh, so cool. so each of you who are in the bazaar area, uh, we'll say you go into a tavern, you start talking to some people there, buy a few drinks maybe, um, mm. and then uh, roll a uh. Whichever um, social skill you think is your best, so deception, persuasion, intimidation, I guess. Perception would probably be my, my best one. Okay. Actually, perception won't really count. It has to be one where you're actively talking to people. Okay. So. Um... Persuasion is not that great. I can do investigation. Because persuasion for me is minus one. So I can do investigation. Sure, okay. I'll allow that one. Insight wouldn't really work, would it? Um, that's usually when you're in a situation where you are talking to someone and you want to see if they're like lying or, or not fully telling the truth. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I'll use, I'll use my investigation. Okay. That worked hmm. out really well. Okay. So, um, Paulian, <laughs> ironically, doesn't get too far there. Nope. Um, maybe in the merchant quarter being a noble is a disadvantage for you. Um, and, uh, but Barash and Eile seem to gather some, some information. So the merchants basically don't really care too much one way or the other, as long as the, the money keeps flowing. The one thing that they are concerned about, um, with this change of leadership and the change of direction is that, um, the backlash from the empire that would affect their business and also the if anyone is you know disgruntled about having their businesses taken away from them what the ramifications of that are going to be so they're more worried about just their own individual situations uh and okay. some think you know that the what's happening is good like some you know used to own slaves and now that they can again so they think that's great and others think that's you know, a step backwards and they should have, you know, shouldn't have let that punk become the leader. He's, he's no good and stuff like that. So some people like that guy. Some people don't, uh, it's pretty, pretty split here in the, in the merchant quarter. I'll tell you one more thing you find out. Um, 
number one here is called the uh, let me just reveal that come on Thank it. It is I'm trying to reveal number one for us. It's something else. It's called the Diamond in the Dirt. And this is an impromptu uh fighting ring that uh occasionally pops up here. Uh it's not sanctioned by the city and is kind of in opposition to the arena, although the arena doesn't feel it's much of a threat, so they don't bother cracking down on it. But they will do like mostly fist fighting and and uh, and wrestling and uh, things like that. So it's not too deadly. But it will occasionally pop up, and people from the audience will just like jump in and try to take on the champion kind of thing. Hmm. Little bit. Did the, was like fun did the guards interfere? No, they usually bet on it. So <laughs> when it happens, everybody time. runs over to bet on it because it can you can make a lot of money. Um, from the bets fairly quickly so so that area um, there hasn't been one since the new uh, leader has taken over but people are have been there's been murmurs of somebody trying to organize it usually happens like one or two people organize it and then someone else organizes the next one so it's not really any continuous organization but um, if nobody else has planned one eventually one will usually show up there so if that's something you're interested in, you could be involved if you see one happen or if you hear about one happen. That might be something I would be into. Yeah. If I can't have some fun with some things. Yeah. Yeah, it's a healer jumping in to try to take <laughs> on the champion. Or at least betting on it. <laughs> How to get our money back. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's usually they say it's usually small potatoes, so like in the in the you know twenty to fifty gold area of people changing uh, changing money changing hands like that. And so things better than nothing. They they consider that small change <laughs> compared to the arena. The betting on the arena is huge. Um, as that use what little money I have in that sense. All right, but there's nothing going on with that yet, but maybe on one of the other days. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so I think we'll um, end it there. And I am actually a little surprised you got out of that situation so so well. Okay. Um, <laughs> my crappy rolls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that continued on. That's yeah, so it was still proficiency. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I will um, thank you guys for coming and thanks to people for watching. Uh, I am now an affiliate, so I can anybody can subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, if uh, anybody who's entered the contest, just hang on for a bit. After uh, we wrap this up, I'll, I'll do the draw. And anyone who's not in that and uh, is ready to go, uh, I'll see you later. Okay, awesome. Thanks for running it. It was a great night.